Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? It's David, back at you with something today called a factorial. You know, when a program this in C, because I'm sure many of you um, are either going to school or want to learn more about programming, and this is a pretty frequent thing that will come up, uh, particularly in the, the intro classes or the beginning things in C. Um, so for those unfamiliar with it, a factorial is um, it's typically used using this like number and an exclamation or a bang mark um, where then uh, you, it's the product of that number minus one um, all the way down to zero or to one. Uh, so if I have a four, I do four times three times two times one and I get 24. Um, and I can show that four times three times two times one. Uh, 24. Uh, if you're Googling, you can typically find this by doing that same thing. Uh, I think 5 is like 120. Uh, but just Google just knows that you put like a number and exclamation mark that you're wanting the factorial for that. Um, so pretty frequent problem. I wanted to do it in C just because I think it's super useful um, to just kind of know and you'll probably see it a lot. Uh, and I already created these functions. I wanted to do it one through an iterative approach and then one through a recursive approach so you could see both. Um, so first, I'm just gonna start off with the iterative approach. So if I say int number equals um, get int what number should I find back to the of? Um, and then I want to int, um, I'll call this int factorial, that way I can have both of them up and you can kind of see uh, the difference between them. Or hopefully no difference because they should be, <laughs> I should get the same answer from both of them. <laughs> um, but so I have a function prototype up here. I expect a integer back and I want to pass it an integer. And then the name here is find iterative, iterative factorial. Uh, so just make sure I don't have any copy or spelling errors. I'm gonna copy and paste that. So I'm in this function and I'm going to find this through a for loop. I'm sure there's other ways to do it. I just wanna use a for loop. Um, so here I'm gonna call it factorial equals one. And I'm just gonna say uh, for int equals i, i is less than or equal to num, i plus plus. And then I want to take the factorial equals factorial times i. And then down here at the bottom, I'm going to return factorial. Um, so the di here, if I have four, first time through, actually this should be a one. First time through, I'm just gonna have one times one. Uh, second times through, this i is now a two. So I'm gonna have factorial, which is one times two. Uh, so it's gonna look like that. Third time through uh, equals three. Three is less than four. So I'm just gonna take factorial, which is one times two, and then times it by three. Last time, it's gonna be a four. Um, so I did this in math, one times two, two, times three, which is six, times four, which is 24. So I believe this should work. I'm gonna go ahead and just build it real quick and uh, Actually, I need to print that out. So I'm just going to say printf um, iterative factorial of percent d is percent d. And then the number I first want the number passed in, and then I want the, I'm going to copy and paste it so I don't have spelling errors. Cool. Uh, so I'm going to build this real quick, just make sure it's what we expect. I'm going to pass in a four. Uh, it's 24. Cool. Uh, that's what Google was telling us earlier. So we just did it through an iterative pass uh, way. Now let's do it through a recursive way. Um, so I'm going to call this recursive factorial. You will find recursive factorial number. Um, luckily, I already have this prototype up here. I made it earlier. Uh, it's going to be the same as earlier. It takes in an integer. It's going to return an integer. I'm going to just copy and paste this over to make sure I don't have a spelling error. And then I'm going to use the same printf statement. I'm going to change it slightly because now this is 
in cursor. And then this is also going to be the recursive factor around that. Cool. Um, so we kind of talked about recursion in an earlier video. If you haven't seen that, feel free to go back. Uh, but basically, we start out, we have the tasks from earlier, and we want a base case. And this, in this base case, we want uh, this function that if number equals 0 or number equals 1 uh, to return 1. So that's because uh, factorial of 1 is 1, factorial of 0 is 1. I don't know why. Uh, this is how it is. It's really confusing. I try not to think about it because it only confuses me. Um, but so that's our base case because we know in a recursive function, we typically want to start out with a base case. And then outside of that, we have the recursive case, which is going to be uh, any other number other than 0, 1, any other positive number. Uh, that's a thing of factorial. You would typically want to test against that. That's just an assumption because I'm making the code that whatever I get in is going to be a positive. Um, so for the recursive thing, this is where it's different. Is now I'm going to return. Um, I'm going to actually want to return num times what this comes back passed in minus one. All right, uh, so that probably looks a little weird, um, but let's, let's just slow down and think about what's going on exactly. First time this is called with a four. Four is not zero or one, so it's not gonna fire off that. It's instead gonna go to here. And what we're saying is we wanna return the number, which is four, times what this function returns, because we know this function returns an integer. Um, and eventually it's gonna hit a zero or a one and return this one. Uh, but right now, number is four, so this means this function is called with a three. Three is not zero or one, so it's gonna return three times whatever comes back from that function. So now we're calling it with a two, not that. It's going to call it with two times whatever comes back from that function. And then finally, two minus one is going to be one. So that's going to just return a one. And now when that returns a one, it's going to pass it back up. So now we have the two times one, and then the three times that, and then the four times that. Um, so let me show you. This should come out to be the same as we have earlier. Uh, so make factorial. Recipe for target factorial failed. Uh, undefined reference. Oh, um, because I named my function wrong. So let me add that and try to rebuild. Uh, I got an error. Did you mean? And of course it goes, oh, because I'm, I didn't change it everywhere, which is important because it's calling itself. <laughs> uh, cool, there we go. So uh, type in a four. So we've got, we're getting back the same number on both of them. Uh, so what this is doing is four, it's holding on to that four, and then it just creates this um, stack of commands to do. And then when it finally hits the one, and this one returns a one, it works its way back up till we have one times two, times three, times four. Um, so that's a factorial. Uh, we did it in iterative and recursion. Hopefully you can kind of see the difference between these uh, and maybe kind of the power of recursion. It's uh, the recursive one will probably never be faster than the iterative approach simply because this is creating a function call. Um, but that's far down the line and not important right now. Um, that is factorial done in an iterative and a recursive way.